Hello guys, so welcome back to another Mobi App Nation video. So today I'm going to show you how to use icon slayer for your app icon. So this is will be quick and simple. So let's head on to icon slayer. And then we'll click on the first one, I, app icon generator for iOS, Android by Gason. And sometimes um, it will not appear because you can change it here and for the flash always allow on this side and then it will ask you to reload the page so we have just have to reload the page and then it will work fine so now you will see there are different range of sizes that is preset you can see down below which is iOS Android and you can add your own sizes okay but for my video today I'm not gonna use the preset size in fact I'm gonna insert my own size so I'm gonna put in 36 pixel and you can read and you can read down below how to enter the size for each sizes so 36 space 48 space uh, 72 96 114 for Amazon if you are using Amazon developer console you have to use the 144 pixel size icon and then 144 and 512 so I'm just gonna click on this refresh button. Okay, so you will see the range of icon custom size that I entered. So you can do a lot of things with icon slayer. You don't want the um, shade, you can just turn it off. Okay. So this is the smoothing of the corner. If you prefer your original um, icons, icon shapes, which is the uh, square. If not, you can just go for the rounded corner, which looks very nice. And let's say if you want to like add an effect for your icon such as um, a 3D effect you can click on the bevel here and use the scale to scale up the effect okay so you can change either the effects will apply on the bottom or on top and for the drop shadow uh, for me, I highly recommend do not use the drop shadow because after you, you're after extracting the icon, the size will not stay the same. Which is if if you are entering 36, it will change to like 24 pixels, so it reduces the size. So better not to use drop shadow. If you are using outline, make sure it is um, color contrast with your with your app icon. Okay, so you can change the color over here. So you can drag, click and drag which or any color that you want. Okay. So we have our settings. Now I'm going to import or or load an image. So I'm gonna choose an image like this. Okay, so now it is in icon slayer. So all I have to do is now export the icon. Okay, and I can give it a name. So I'm gonna name this icon slayer. Okay, just like so. And then I'm gonna click save. So after that you can open the place that you save the zip file so I'm gonna extract here or extract to but 
just go for the extract to icons layer and it will open a folder so in that folder you will see the different sizes and you have enter so you can see all of that and it will still keep the original um, picture that you uploaded into the icons layer so I hope you like about the icons layer and if you have any problem regarding with the icons layer uh, you can comment down below I hope you enjoy the video leave a like subscribe if you wanted to so thanks hope you enjoy it